Universal Audio Luna, tip number 13, versions and bookmarks. In the new version of Luna, we have two options for a type of saving that's happening. They're a little bit confusing at first, but let me go through the differences right fast, and I think they'll make sense. First thing to know is that saving always happens in the background. You don't ever have to hit the, the normal like Command S to save the project. If you've ever used something like a Final Cut that always saves in the background, it's the same thing. It's always saving. So no matter what you're doing, there's always a save happening. Now, there are also two sub-versions of that now, one that's called versions and one that's called bookmarks. The versions is more like a save as. That's what I tend to think of it as. If you're used to using Pro Tools or Logic Pro, then you're familiar probably with the save as function, which gives you a new name for the uh, project. That's exactly what this does. Bookmarks is a little bit different. So let's go through versions first. A couple things about it is that it's always auto-saving, just like your project is always auto-saving. Uh, it contains an undo history, and it carries forward in time. In other words, when you start something and you make a new version, that version keeps saving and keeps updating until you make another version. That's the idea behind versions. Bookmarks are simply a way to save a moment in time. They do not auto-save. There is no undo history involved with them, and they do not carry forward. Uh, so an example of that right fast, let me pull this down here. There's a couple ways to open the version browser. If you hit uh, shift command O, it opens it up, or you can come from the file menu down to open session version, and you will have this window open. Now, every project that you have will have an initial version. That's when you started it. And there are, if we click on that, you can see that I made a few bookmarks in the middle of that. These bookmarks will have notes on them. Uh, this, is, this one says comp of lead silver tone parts. Each version will have bookmarks similar to that in them. So I made some warp edits. I made a new version for adding a couple instruments, etc. And this last one here is a good example. When I print to tape, the version was created. That's exactly, if I click on that and open it, then that bookmark will take me exactly to the place that I created when I was about to print to tape. However, any changes I made right after that, like uh, I, I know that I muted a few things, those do not carry forward if I click on that bookmark. Uh, when I click on print to tape, the last known state, it's also the same. It will be whatever happened at that moment in time. I can't open that and then go back to like an undo I can't go backwards from it. I can't go forward from it. It's just that one moment in time. Uh, if I wanted to do that, though, I could go to the print to tape and then use the undo history from there. I uh, hope that helps. I know it's confusing. It confused me big time at first. I'm so used to hitting command save every few seconds when I'm using Pro Tools or Logic. But in Luna, that's not necessary anymore. It's always saving. But we do have the option to save as a new version and a new bookmark. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe. New videos are coming very soon.